So I usually practice this whenever I have time. Um, just I look at inspirations from line or out line, and I'll do one on a white, and then I'll try to use like a, a base or something colorful to put on. So see a white, white, and then it goes color, color. And I'm gonna do in this one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a ink marbling. I use, I think this is an 11 millimeter. Um, I did trim it a little bit because I got a little afraid. Definitely gotta be careful when you're trimming because if you trim it too thin, it'll, it'll lose. It won't be able to. You get like these tiny little beads, but uh, I had, I'm gonna have to get some new brushes too. <laughs> Um, it's, it's practice, Latasha. Like, I seriously, like, this is what I'm working on myself in my career right now. I'm moving forward more nail art, so I'm trying to do more of that as much as I can. When I do have time, um, this, this, this is what I mean when you, you're practicing. And so in this stream, I'll be able to talk to you guys a little bit more, a little more relaxed, not working, not kind of a time crunch. like using like blue and magenta pink ink because when these two blend together it makes a purple so it'll be blue purple like you see the next one that yeah. i'll show you guys a little bit of ink marbling too it's very it's very fun to play with if you're joining me we're gonna be practicing today and i'll be able to i can be able to chat with you guys a little bit more and some more questions um live I use um, both majority. If I use a black and white, I'll have a own little black and white gel pot. Um, you can definitely use like older, like if you have like a black or a white that's older or even like color that's older, you can use that because it'll be a little thicker and the thicker the polish, it'll be easier to maintain the line without it spreading out a little bit. So like you do that, it won't, the, the thing won't spread out too much so that you can keep your nice line, keep while you're doing the line work. Because if you use a very, um, a polish that's very thin, at well, the moment you try to put the line, it will just start smearing really fast and you won't have that crisp line that you're looking for. So any old, like I said, don't throw away your old gel polishes, save it. You can take it out and use it to draw line art too. So I'm using a white and I've matted already. I've, I've prepped these pretty much. Um, I'm gonna be doing some ink. And then I'll, um, I'll do the line work right over it. And I'm gonna be transferring this design over here with some marbling, like I did all these other ones. So we got a little bit of acetone here. People can use acetone and, you know, whatever. Whatever works for you best. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. We're just gonna be practicing today. Hello, Christine. Yes, Roxy, um, like I said, don't throw away your old gel polish. Um, save them, the thicker they are, a little better for you to use. They'll stay, the lines will stay. So, I'm gonna be just, I'm gonna be using a little bit of the purple. And then I'll add a little bit of the blue. And the reason I use these two is because I love the purple of this mix. Put some blue and when this blends together. You don't have to use too much either because this is very concentrated. The one I bought is very concentrated. You'll probably find ones that are less concentrated. Um, start playing with it this is like a playing process okay guys you see I made see how I made that purple and I'll use what I have up here when I get this I'll come down here and I'll break it in we're looking for nice break lines um, 
Oh, shoot. <laughs> I dipped it in the black gel polish. Jeez, I wasn't paying attention. See, this is why I don't take stuff out beforehand. Kind of messed it up a little bit, but it's okay. The black would just darken it a little bit. We're just doing a nice colorful base for our design. Just looking for nice, you know, break lines. Um, don't, don't try to, don't try too hard. The more when you do working with like ink marbling, the more, the more you try to make it look like a specific way, the less it will, the less it will do that, because um, it's just it's, it's ink. It'll just go, it'll go its own way. And you want like a nice transition, you know. You can also add more ink on if you feel like you need more ink. But I think that's perfect for me. I'm not too worried about that. It's just the base. I want to be using, um, you know, like I said, try not to overdo it too much. The more you overdo it, the more it will go away. I'll add just a little bit more purple up here. Just a little light, just a dab. Just so I can get some color up there. Go blend with whatever I had. Um, see, just, just fill it up. And like, I rarely get time like this, but the client had an emergency and she contacted me. So I could have filled in the spot and do a live, but I feel like, hey, you know, this is a good time for me to practice. I don't, I don't have that time often, you guys can see. And there we go, we're just gonna leave it at that. It's not nail polish, it's ink. Um, it's just like an ink. You can, you can make these with Sharpies, you can even use Sharpies. Um, you can, it's just, like a isopropyl ethanol with like coloring, um, ink coloring. You can buy a lot of them on, on Amazon. Um, they'll have, they're generally all the same, more or less. So not to worry about that. You can support your own brand that you really enjoy. Like I said, and I wanna go into nail dad mode with you guys right now. Yeah, it's, like, it's watercolor, ink watercolor. You can say that. Watercolor is a little bit more translucent. Yeah, welcome. So, you know, if you want to practice with me, practice, you know. I'm going to be transferring this design over here. So, you know, we're going to go from there, okay? As you, you can see, when I started practicing, I started with this, more simple. You know, you got to take steps, and then I worked into something more advanced. I, I brought it over, and then now, you know, even more advanced. You know, once you, you got to stay at your level, like I told you. When I go nail dad on you guys on the stream, that's what I'm talking about. Take your, your, your pace, take your time. So we're just gonna generally start. I'm just using a black gel polish I put in a pot. Usually when I run out of a black, I just pour out into a pot or something. A container I can use. Joining me now, we're just gonna have some fun practicing. Thank you, thank you. Like I said, I had a had a small cancellation, so I'm gonna use this time to practice myself, my art, because I'm gonna, that's what I wanna start doing more of like this art. So it doesn't matter where you are skill wise, you're always gonna stay practicing. So keep you sharp. We're always gonna work towards some sort of goal, no matter where your skill level. Okay. So I'm just going to just really um, try to just see I, I even messed up right there a little bit. It's okay. 
okay, we're practicing. It's a little more difficult for me because um, I'm It doesn't have to be perfect, we're practicing, you know, we'll, we'll get there slowly. I don't expect this to be perfect. When you're practicing, you, you get your hands used to it. Just quick little outlines. Remember, even when you're practicing, you have to know you have to have an end game. You gotta know where this 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 is gonna go. You know, you're gonna be able to put this on the client. You know, you're using products, so you have to make sure that you're gonna grow while you're practicing. Don't practice for waste. Make sure that after you're done practicing, you're like, okay, I did something today. Now I feel good. You know, like I I achieved something today. You know, that's what practicing is about. You gotta feel like you've achieved a certain goal. So that's why I that's why I don't rush it. I did this first, very simple. And then I transferred over here. I thought, okay, I achieved something. It got better, it looks better. And then I started something more complicated, better. So I, I've, I've used my time correctly while I'm practicing so that I know that I'm progressing slowly. It doesn't matter how fast you go. Everybody progress differently. Whatever you think you feel like you're, you're progressing, you are, okay? This is a little off, but that's okay. We're practicing. Hello. 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 See how I did this a little too thick? Yeah. I'm just going to thicken this side and, and I'm going to work with it. So it's going to be e equally thick on both sides. So it's like a style. I'm practicing this, then I will practice more later. Um, the thing with these designs is always about symmetry. So make sure you're equally you're putting equal amounts on each side, and you don't have to be perfect. Remember, we're, we're just, right now we're practicing, so you guys gotta bear with me, okay? Not.
it's not simple at all actually i'm like this is one of my things i work on on my personal time because i do want to do more line art i do want to do more like sophisticated stuff and that's why you know even in my career even though you guys watch me stream you guys see me do something that i'm comfortable with i want to i want to actually show you guys there's, there's certain things that i am not comfortable with that is new to me that i'm learning that everybody's learning it doesn't matter where you are in your career you're learning you're learning the moment you stop learning you lose the passion and you you kind of get bored of it it's like this is something i'm not confident that i can do like really well that's why i practice and then eventually i will start getting the hang of it and i'll be able to do it really easy and that's what that's where all the labor that's where all the the time you spent doing certain things it comes out you know like oh, okay like you know it's worth it I'm not wasting this product i'm utilizing as much as i can um i know that this will help me After this, I'll do more and more of it until I, I've achieved the look that I want. I get used to it. It's been a while since I've done this design, um, so I've been pretty busy. That's why I'm going back in and I'm gonna start focusing more and more on it. So now I got kind of a basis of it. You can see there's certain lines that are thicker than others. That's okay, we're practicing. So if I wasn't practicing, I would definitely focus more on the crisp lines. So like on my first one, I use very thin polish. This one, I, I, I'm kind of heavy handing it a little bit, but definitely for my next time attempt, or if I attempt it on a client, I won't, be able, I won't use it as much. Um, as you see, this is a little bit off shape and this is more than this. It's not symmetric because I started this one too diagonal. So we're definitely going to see what you're doing. And then you make adjustments later. You know, it's all about adjustments. Um, I will definitely make that adjustment when I work on my client. The best way to do it is mark it before you go ahead. Nothing's perfect, okay? So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna start re-crisping re these lines. This branch right here really threw me off because I was very off position with the center fo focus point here. So that, that cost me a lot because it shifted everything to one side. Looks a little bit um, not crisp, but like I said, we are practicing right now, and I'll probably do this again, depending on the time we get. So now we're finished.
These designs are very pretty. It, it, you put on long nails, you can do on coffin or stiletto nails. Um, it's definitely a very nice accent nails. It will really give the client a It really gives the client um, a unique uniqueness to it. And if um, you don't. That's why that's why I priced on the white first. It's because it's been a long time since I've done it, and I actually did it a different way this time than I did last time. Before I used to, I had to do the focal point first, but I kind of started with the V shape. This is always last. So I started with this first and it threw me off a little bit. When usually I do the line focal point, then I'll know and I'll mark to each side with a little small dot before I connect the lines. Once I connect those lines, then I'll go in a certain direction. There's a flow to these designs. Um, you flow through it, you know, it's, it's very, um, it's a little bit harder because you have to think sym symmetry. Half of that is literally the other half. The moment you get the symmetry from the top to the bottom, you're basically replicating everything on each side. You notice that this my my first attempt was a lot easy, a lot better than this one because I started it differently. I looked at these dark lines and it distracted me, so I wanted to do these first. And then when I drew the line, and I I didn't guide it out. I try to go from here. And it gives you a bad angle. But all in all, I mean, for us practicing, and you can remove the line too. It'll remove a little bit of the ink, just don't go too heavy handed. You saw me do it a little bit earlier. We're gonna give this a quick mat. And then um, before, and because when you practice, this is why I practice on the white first, because I can remove it without damaging the ink. Do another sample if you guys want to watch um, just because it's gonna be this is my last sample and then I'm gonna end the live wait for my next appointment and I'll be able to live again on my next I'll have a freestyle live tonight around four so if you want to tune in for that that would definitely be something you should tune in for it would be a really fun set regular client of mine so I usually start with just a white Use don't when you practicing don't use brand new whites. Just use any old white that you had, you know that is thick, because you only need one coat. Now dad, now dad tip. When you're practicing, you don't like with polish. You don't have to use brand new polish. Use something old. Don't waste a new a new bottle of white just so you can practice, right? So all in all, I do like the way it turned out. Even though we know it's misshapen a little bit, the lines aren't as crisp as I want it to be. So when I do work on a client, I'm definitely gonna mark where I'm gonna do, where it is. This one's more advanced, like I said. Um, it's when you practice and at the end of it, you, you look at what you did and you pick out what you need to work on. And to see the, I, I need, definitely need to work on the placing. So I definitely gotta mark out where I wanna put stuff first before I start drawing it. And the moment you draw it and you're committed, the best way to do that is just take the little thing and you make little dots. Like, okay, I want this here, this here. And you connect the lines, so it'll be nice and symmetric. And I, I started with this instead of going down straight first. That's the problem. This one, I went down straight first, so I had the middle already. And I went down, down. And then I did this. I did this last. Down, down, down. Lines going down first, then lines going up, crisscross very important thing with, with practicing nail art like that um, so I'm gonna do another sample for you guys we're gonna do the same sample and I'll, I'll show you guys what it is when you practice and you make adjustments okay I'm gonna make adjustments and then I'm gonna show you guys the, the change the difference in the adjustments um, make sure you have you know a routine of what you're doing some sort of adjustment um, always see what you're doing and no one what what to fix. That's how you grow. This time I'm gonna go in with ink again, and then I'll marble it like I did, and I'm gonna do the, I'll do that temp again, and I'll show you guys why how I practice and this is how I see my growth.
Because if I did this again and it looks better, that means I've grown. It means I've, I've spotted what I did wrong and I've grown. So I'm gonna do stronger colors this time because I literally want this to pop out more to be honest. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be really heavy with the, heavy with the colors this time. And you don't want to do this too much because when it gets muddy, it doesn't look good. When the colors get too muddy, it won't look good. And you don't want to use too many colors too. You want to use colors that complement each other. Um, if you ever took art class, there's that color wheel where you know what color mixed with what color mixed what color. Um, you don't want to throw any colors in there that will turn it brown. I like a, a side motion. I mean, if you want to like do like crazy breaks like this, you can also do that too. It doesn't have to go side to side. Use your breaks, um, use the ink, move the way you want it. You see a lot of people just, just random blocks. That looks good also. Just remember, don't overdo it. When you get to the point where you're like, you're okay with it, just stay with it. The moment you overdo it, you're doing too much and it'll look just crazy. I'm content with this, and I'm gonna use my art over this. Okay, so I'm gonna start it again. And this time I'm gonna place the line in the middle. I'm not gonna go down too much, just midway. in the picture now I'm gonna place I'm gonna place some of the wings some of the wing here some of the wing here and I'm gonna go from here downward here downward just light we want to do too dark remember we're gonna we're tracing lines right now okay I'm gonna do the other wing up here. I'm gonna go to the other side, same out. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go down from here. I'm using light lines. I'm gonna trace them over later. In case the light lines, if you messed up, you can definitely go through again. I'm gonna go here. Go up here. So now I've connected it. Now I have these as my guides. If these are perfect, I'm gonna get it down and connect to make the wing. I'm gonna bring this one down just a little bit more. Connect to make the wing. So it's, it's more symmetric. Then I'll bring this in. Just light lines for now. line this is gonna give us the this is gonna partition this part from this part so we're gonna it's gonna start up here we're just gonna bring down the V we're 
We're gonna start on the same side, the same spot, come down the same. Just slowly so that we can meet in the middle. It has to meet with this, see that? Use that as a focal point. Okay, now we're gonna position here for these two points. Equally on each side. And we're gonna make the second V. Okay. Same on each side. And we're gonna connect this like in the part of the sample. So now we have the second V right here. This this part. Now we're gonna use this to connect it together, okay? This goes down to make a nice break. So it starts from here. We're gonna go in. Same spot. A little bit slanted this way, you see, but that's okay. We've, we've made a lot of improvement from our last. So up here, we know that the lines, we're gonna do the downward lines now. See? We know this goes, this connects here, and we have that. I'm not dipping a lot into my black. I'm just using this nice shaded lines. There. Go here. And we get ourselves that line. Still a little bit off. I'm lean. I think I'm leaning towards this way a little bit too much. That's why. But it's definitely better than what we had before. Now we're gonna do some finishing touches and then we're gonna go through it again. Now I wanna see progress in this one. It may not be perfect, but I wanna see progress in this one. This is a more advanced design than the other ones I've done before. That's why I'm, I'm trying to grow, so I definitely have to keep up with that. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's, everybody's the same and that's what about finished there. Now we're gonna do the grid lines. So I've definitely seen an improvement already from my previous one. And that's great because that's what I wanna that's what I that's what we're doing right now we're practicing that we can see improvements. The moment you see improvement, that means you've used your time wisely. Okay. Now I'll do a small V-shape that I was doing earlier. Now I go through and I darken. I, I do all the border first, the thick the border ones first these ones don't have to get a lot of polish just nice just enough you can find these inspo pictures online a lot a lot of great artists out there that have done great work and you use them as your inspiration so you can practice your line and later on you can do your own thing you know Right now we're just using what we're inspired to do. Now I'm gonna start darkening these lines. See where I did them light, right? Now I'm just gonna go through and you're gonna darken them.
uh, if you feel like you want to cure it and you know keep you want to cure it real quick so in case you messed up and you can you don't have to mess with all the other lines do that for me this is my challenge to myself i'm gonna do it right the first time see i just when i said that i already messed up a little bit Sometimes I cure it midway, so I can relax if I ever mess up and just... I messed up over here just a little bit. and paying attention to this. See now if I cure this, it wouldn't be so, so messy, but. This up too high. There you go. See? Sorry, this seems boring, like a boring stream, but I just thought I'd show you guys when I how I practice and when I do practice, when I do get time, um, when I don't have clients or a cancellation. I work on myself whenever I can, and I do it over and over, just like you guys. Even if you're starting new, if you're a pro. You're good, even pros practice. It keeps you sharp, keeps you in the game, um, keeps you learning. So we definitely, I definitely see an improvement from the last one. A little still a little bit off center, I guess I'm leaning a little bit while I'm recording. But I am very happy with the results of my growth. Remember, everybody grows. Everybody. I'm gonna clean up some of the edges. And I think I'm happy with that. Um, I'm gonna cure that real quick. You're still here. Well, now you see what I do with my free time. <laughs> like I said too, it, it takes time. And more advanced designs like this, it takes time. Start out with something small, less lines, so you can get that, that brush stroke, the feel of it. Um, T, my strapper brush, it's just, I don't, it doesn't even have a brand. I just bought off Amazon. <laughs> I just look for like a two, like 11 millimeter, 15 millimeter. Like say, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I don't remember where I bought it. There's like no brand or anything. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not trying to hide anything from you guys. 
truly am not. So we're gonna mat it. So I'm gonna work on this design a little bit more and you guys will see me grow, grow as the more I do it. And when I do have time, I do wanna like show you guys, like, like I just show you guys a little bit of marbling. Um, like less is more like this one I really like because I, I didn't do too much with it. I used green, yellow, and brown. So it's kind of like a, a very nice rustic look. Um, pinks are very strong. You got to be careful. You see how it bleeds all over the place. That's why you got to dab a lot into it. And um, it's just a base. Ideally, I want to do a lot more marbling like this than this. Because you, you get yellow, brown, and you get green. When they come together, they don't make like a crazy color. So if we can look at our progression here, um, this one is my first attempt. As you can see how it's leaning too much on this side because I wasn't really focused on certain things. But um, this was too big. We fixed that a little bit. So the few things I need to fix too is the little dots in my lines. I really got to clean out those lines, the, the blots. And definitely the best way to do that is probably to cure it first. Um, I, after I outlined it, it was perfect. I should have cured it, and then I could have gone back through it, and then it wouldn't be too much on there, because whatever I had was cured already. Um, I definitely could, um, I see a trend that what I'm doing is I'm shifting towards this direction a little more, when I should be just staying straight. I, I think that's the way I'm sitting. Check your posture, and when you're working, you gotta look at the nail. But I do see a big difference. I didn't do the grids, because I wanna leave it like that, to show you guys sides of the grids are there um, I really want to need to get it more diamond look so if I were to shift it this way a little bit more it would look more like a diamond and all in all you see these little spots I definitely could do a little thinner a little more crisp here that's definitely me having the cure first that V shape could be crispier um, a lot of stuff uh, like uh, here see it's a little off shape more on this side this side it's because I drew this line up too much it's too low so I gotta remember position use the side of the nails to position the little dots give you some guidelines but I, generally I did do a lot better and I see my growth over here um, it's a lot messier here this is the one I did just I was like I was like in the zone with all these and I did this one this one's the best one but I haven't done another one in a while because I've been so busy and that's what happens you guys see that this is my first attempt believe it or not and I was like very in the mood and I was like, okay, time to learn. But then after a while, you don't keep practicing, you kind of lose it, especially with line art. You really got to keep going, keep going. And you got to do it cons consistently. And what's going to happen is I'm going to start doing my clients and I'm going to start consistently doing more of this art. Cause I'm blessed with the clientele that would just let me freestyle, whatever I want. And that will give me the ability to get my hands used to it. Like anything you do, like anything you do, if it's application, um, ombre, marbling, shaping, the more you do it, the more you'll be able to, like I say, you do coughing all the time, your coughing will be great over time. As long as you gotta know where, like, you know, you gotta understand um, your progression, you understand your growth. You have to feel like you're growing. You have to look at your work. And that's why when I when I do streams of fills, fills are very important for you guys, because when you guys do fills, you get to see what you've done before, what you can adjust, what you can change. So every time your client returns, you always gotta think, I have to make this better, or you gotta, gotta pick up some flaws that you can change while you're doing the fill. And that's the growth process of step by step by step by step. And this is for girls that are new, girls that are, you know, in the position where they're doing some clients and they wanna get that extra, you know, growth. And you have to remember, you have to keep growing and practicing does help. But also, you gotta always look at your own work figure out what you're doing, like what you can improve, and then use the client's hands and improve it little by little. I'm guarantee your clients will see it um, over time. And you will definitely see it too. You'll feel the growth. And it's a little bit harder for girls that are starting out because you have no basis to start out from. That's why I always tell girls just to practice with acrylic first. Forget about the color powder. Forget about the ombre. For, you know, like the TikTok. Like if this is a TikTok, I'm like, ombre out of there. You know? And then the words will throw away like that. 
Um, forget about that, forget that. Just sit in front of yourself, get some acrylic powder that you can get pretty cheap, some monomer, and play with it. Practice on a practice nail, practice on a practice hand. Just practice laying the acrylic. Practice filing the shape. You know, when you first get, get into nails, you don't want to just take color powder. You want, you, want to do, you want to do ombre, you want to do encapsulation, all this stuff. You're not ready for that yet, okay? And I, I kind of end my videos all with a little bit of a nail dad lecture for all you guys. Um, doesn't matter where you are in the skill, you definitely can use a nail dad to remind you that you can always grow, but you can grow the right way or you can grow the wrong way. You grow the wrong way is mean you're doing things that is out of your skill set and you're just wasting money, wasting product, and you're not growing, you're not seeing progress, you're stuck. You're thinking, I just started doing nails a month ago, why can't I do ombre? Well, if you wanna be honest with you, you can't do ombre because you don't know how to lay powder yet. You don't have control of the powder, you don't understand the powder, that's why you can't do ombre. Now, to some that might feel like a discouragement, but for me, when I say that, it's like, you don't know yet doesn't mean you're never gonna learn it you have to learn it you have to learn into it okay so i hope you guys enjoy this live it was very quick watching me work and watching me talk and i hope you guys you know we're gonna have a set tonight i'll be living tonight and um follow my instagram see some of my work see some of my student work too and my stories and highlights um you can you know see me go live you follow my facebook and I appreciate you guys tuning in. For those who stayed, I know you guys appreciate what I say and that's the reason why I do it. I don't want to discourage anybody. I want to see you guys grow and I want to see you guys be in these lives, learning as much as you can with me. So you're, today you're learning with me. There are certain lives when you're going to be, I'm going to be doing something new or something I'm not confident in. You're going to be with me the whole way, okay? Okay, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to prepare for my next appointment. I will be live in one last set tonight, round four. So I'll see you guys then at four for the live, okay? Until then, practice. Do what you gotta do if you're bored. I'll see you guys later at four. Catch you guys later.